another year at Halloween Horror Nights. This 2024. And intro over. All right, check out the sign and they got their classic haunt event attraction playlist going. Pretty sick, you can see Rip Ride Rocket, which I stand by is a very intense coaster. You know it's Halloween when the minions are out, baby. Minions, baby. Minions. Nice, nice. It's not the same though when it's bright out. It's kind of sad. So that, it's neat. They put the Ghostbusters maze back there where the firehouse used to be, or technically still sort of is, which is fun. Uh, there's the tribute store wall or something. And it's the torture fair. Yeah, baby! Yay, torture! <laughs> Sounds just lovely. All right, we're entering the tribute store, which has some kind of like, I don't know what the, the theme is. It's like junkyard uh, something, or rather. Interesting. Oh, is this like uh, apocalyptic? I see. I get it. Oh, look, they got the Ghostbusters merch. Chucky popcorn bucket. Pretty legit. Find the bathroom. That's pretty cool. Logo's neat. On front of the New York Public Library. Okay, my reaction to the Triplets of Terror is that it was fine. It wasn't. It's a Haley and Jesse special. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, you're you're taking over. Yeah. Oh, here you go. We're taking over Matt Hot Formers account. So we thought the Mummy was. Oh, we talking about the Mummy. We're talking about the Triplets of Terror, but you can talk oh, okay. about the Mummy. Very good, and if that was the worst maze, or so everybody says, I think we'll be pretty good. I think we're on a good route right now. I think it would, I would give it a seven out of ten. And the mummy was great as always. Always. Great. The proof? I feel a little nervous. Okay. Nauseous. All right, I guess we'll be checking in with Haley and Jesse. We'll be, we'll be back. Don't you worry. We'll be back after these messages. All right, this is a torture fair. Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty creepy. Alright, I saw... Oh, they got the woman in the stocks. They have the plague doctor. Oh, they got... Ow. That looks quite painful. Oh, hello. <laughs> the sound effects are very grisly this year. Oh, Plague Doctor. Man, they have plague and torture going on. That's a terrible combination. Oh. And a wizard? Merlin. Hi. Ooh. That's cool. All right, now we're going through Blumhouse. Oh, there's the grabber from the black phone. That's pretty cool. Oh, a purger. So it says purge, freaky, black phone, Megan. Weird symbol that I don't know. Oh, that was 
uh, I think the, uh, oh, there's the freaky girl. Who is that? Is that maybe another purger? Oh, and the and there's uh, the freaky guy, the butcher or whatever his name was. Okay, that was uh, that was a bit like the last few Blumhouse movies. Disappointing. Oh, there's more. Who's this? Oh, it's just a, it's just a photo op. Okay, the Goblins Feast was great. Uh, it's it's a pub and it's like a lot of other things and they're all celebrating and they're green and it's really spooky. Okay, <laughs> but let's, this let's is hear. This Alien Jess vlog. Sorry. Hello? All right, what's the verdict? Goblin's Feast was good. It I was love good. a good pub, I love a good English pub. <laughs> and I felt like reviewing? it hit all, the, hit right all the marks oh. for us. They're reviewing it. Ryan, it Ryan, do you have anything to say? I really enjoyed walking through that. <laughs> okay, that's cool. I'll, I'll accept that. Yeah, yeah. Up next, we're doing the Slaughter Cinema 2. It's like a uh, drive-in type of movie. Look at the line, it's crazy. Dang Watang. Okay, this is pretty dope. Look, they got the cars out here. That's sick. Okay, that one was... That one was Slaughter Cinema... Two. Two. Did they do Slaughter Cinema 1? Yeah, a couple years ago. That one was very fun. It was there was a lot going on. It was a it was a B movie drive-in yeah. marathon. That one was really fun. It was very fun. It wasn't as scary or like creepy, but it was a, yeah. just a lot of cool stuff. Because it was like a, you were you saw a preview of the movie, and, and then, then you, you went walked. into the movie. Yes, and that was really really cool. Yeah, that was top tier. You can't see us very well. That was very enjoyable. We have to ask our, our experts, though. Not you, sir. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm not an expert. We have to get Haley and Jesse's a take. Although, I can't see you because the lighting is so dark. Okay. Well, but, well, we thought that was a really good one. You like that one? I was scared. Right. I wouldn't say it was as scared as the first one. Fair. Oh, we have a special guest. Special Sarah guest. again. Sarah. Although, no one can be seen, like, hardly. Yeah, why? Well, it's very dark. Wait, are you saying which one is your favorite? Yeah, it's bad. Uh, not yet. Okay. Not yet. We've only done three, oh, yeah. so there's still time. Oh, oh, of, the oh, oh, of the house. Oh, oh, what? Oh, what was your favorite oh, sequence of the house? Oh. Oh, yeah. All, All right. Up oh, next, yeah. we're going from the Simpsons queue to the Deadly Exhibit Museum. Uh, Deadly Exhibit Museum, whatever. Uh, Night was at the museum. Night at the Museum, for simplicity's sake, was I? We had mixed thoughts. I think it was very good in in uh, several parts. I really like when some of the exhibits looked like they were coming alive. Some of the props were were neat, and like uh, some of the lighting choices were great. But uh, there were a few parts that had a, uh, several gaps and. There were just a few questions I had where maybe it was too lore heavy for me to fully get what was actually going on. Here is the front of Men in Black with the lights and they have that. Men in Black's one of my favorite rides, so this is super dope. Oh, now we're in the swamp, the bayou. Dang. Ooh, alligator. That is dope. It does smell like the swamp. Oh, I love the zombie sounds. That was a peak zombie. Peak zombie. Very creepy. Oh, it's hard to see. I can't even see the monsters that are trying to scare me. That's a cool uh, cabin. I have the light peering through the... Uh... Oh gosh. That didn't end well. Hello, oh. Great. this. This is cool. A lot of fog. A lot of fog. Ooh. 
Look at that. Alright, that was a cool one. That was neat. Alright, now we're doing uh, the Icon Scare Zone. I don't really know what to expect. Oh, I don't think they're on the stage anymore. Aww. I just want to see some weird monsters or something. There's some weirdness here. There is. This guy, he's weird. He is weird. He's kind of cool. Hey. Yeah, that's just cool. Wow. Just as each and every one of shall do indeed. Excellent. Oh, I like that. That's sick. It's like a parade float type of thing almost. That's creepy. Oh. Oh, these are the icons of the year. They will delight. Which, uh, they remind me of the Cenobites from Hellraiser. Especially the newer Hellraiser. That was definitely weird. I liked it. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, Ghostbusters... Frozen Empire. The movie wasn't spectacular, but it had its moments. Uh, there were a lot of references to Ghostbusters 2 in there, and I liked all the Karakas, the giant demon guy. Uh, the sets were neat. It wasn't very scary, but it made up for it in terms of fun. I mean, I'm also like a Ghostbusters guy, so like, yeah. Look at this. Look how empty it is, even at 1 a.m. It's wild. All right, we just did the uh, Latin America one, and um, I didn't really have any expectations for it. It wasn't really on my list of to-dos, but it was actually pretty good. I don't know if we hit the timing right, but it, I got a lot of scares in it, yeah. and the sets were neat. I didn't really know a lot about the monsters. I guess I got to do my Latin America monster uh, like lore dig. My assessment for this is the same as the museums. Like whoever like designed it was like it was on point. Like I it love was. the set design. Yes, it was it's very aesthetic. gothic. Perfect. Yes. And maybe maybe some gaps and scares. Few gaps, but yeah. I, I feel like the sets made up for I it. I really enjoyed walking through that. Yeah, that was cool. Alrighty, and that concludes our experience at H H N thirty three. Was it the best year? No. Uh, it was one of the weaker ones, but it was still good. It's still fun. Yeah, it was a good. It was a good time. The houses weren't as crazy. Maybe it was just the theming. I don't know what it was, but I still had a good time. Still fun. And now we drive home.